Memorial Day weather, bad winds and hail forecast in Georgia, Carolinas Georgia and the Carolinas could get hit hard by wet and nasty weather on Monday, dousing barbecues and other outdoor events for the Memorial Day holiday. Strong storms may break out in that southeast swap, possibly affecting up to 16 million people, CNN meteorologist Monica Garrett said. Storms are forecast in Georgia and the Carolinas in the afternoon hours, with damaging winds and hail expected to be the main threat. The northeast will also be wet, Garrett said, with rain moving through the region in the morning, but drying out later. There also will be isolated storms in the mid-Atlantic on Monday, she said. Coastal Texas to Alabama also will have a soggy holiday, with heavy rain and scattered storms. See the severe weather tracker residents in Missouri and Tennessee are still trying to recover from what hit them over the weekend. Two dead, one missing in Missouri Two bodies were recovered Sunday after a car carrying three people drove into water the day before. All three were from Nashville, Arkansas, visiting Branson, Missouri, in affiliation with the Hoops Play basketball tournaments being held there, city officials said. Rescue personnel are still searching for the driver of vehicle. The popular tourist destination was deluged with four to six inches of rain in less than 24 hours. James Lucas Jr. was driving with his family on Fall Creek Road when they were suddenly caught in a flash flood. The creek had swollen out of its banks and was pushing stalled-out cars down the hill into me, Lucas said. Four kids were screaming the whole time, watching people and cars floating by, he said. Kinda was really amazing because we all made it safe. At least 12 people were rescued from the rapid flooding. Garrett said Branson will be sunny on Monday, with a chance of rain on Tuesday night. Long-term power outages ferocious winds reached 69 miles per hour in Memphis, CNN affiliate WMC reported Sunday. They were strong enough to topple a memorial at Tom Lee Park. The storm cut electricity to more than 150,000 residents in the Memphis area, and some of them might not get power for a week, said Memphis Light, Gas, and Water. Please begin to prepare for a long-term outage situation. Make arrangements for elderly, young children, the power company tweeted. Full restoration could take at least a week. Garrett said storms are clearing now in Memphis, where it looks like a nice Memorial Day.